The glitz, the glamour, the awards winning, I think, song and dance numbers. <laughs> <laughs> we can't wait for the Oscars coming up Sunday night. There's so much to talk about beyond the big races. And joining us now are two of our favorite movie folks, Katie Rich, Hollywood editor for VanityFair.com, and Eric Davis, contributing editor from Fandango. Thanks for joining us, guys. Mm -hmm. Let's get right to it. What's the best picture? Who's going to win it? I, I think, you know, my gut says 12 Years a Slave. My heart says Gravity. Uh, I think it's going to be one of those two. You're not alone on that, though. A lot of people loving yeah. Gravity. Katie, what do you think? Yeah, I love Gravity, too. I still think 12 Years a Slave wins it. I don't think you want to be the person who votes against the anti-slavery movie. It's a big <laughs> movie. It's an important movie. There have not been very many movies about slavery. I think that helps it win, and it's a great movie. I'll Does the that. mass appeal, though, and a surprising box office of Gravity yeah. help this? And also, there's a huge radio campaign just, co you know, coincidentally advertising the movie all the time. Does that help the movie? I think so. Gravity is like the cool pick. You know, like all the right. cool kids want Gravity to right, win. But then 12 Years a Slave is more of an more Oscar More of a traditional pick. Yeah. Oscar pick. But yeah. I think the Academy Awards needs a movie like Gravity to win because it's the cool kids pick, because it's for the younger kids. The younger kids will be like, oh, Gravity won the Oscars. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should tune in and watch. And the Academy Awards need some younger viewers this year. That's why they have some artists like Pink uh, yeah. that's going to be on. You know, and I think... I Pharrell's going to be there. Yeah. Be yeah, so there. that's going to add the hip yeah. factor. Yeah. I'm sorry, what was Frozen. that? Frozen. Oh, Frozen. Of course, kid hit the kids world. watching yeah. that. Kids, a lot of them wanted Grown Ups 2 to win Best Picture. <laughs> that is not so going pathetic. to happen. Um, uh, Katie, what do you think is the most contested race? Um, I think it's really the supporting actress category between Jennifer Lawrence and Lupita Nyong'o. There's a lot of people think it's going to be one or the other. I think it's really between those two. There's a strong argument for either of them to win. I think Lupita pulls it out, but Jennifer Lawrence, she'd be one of only, she'd be the third actress to win two back-to-back -back Oscars. Could you imagine? Rare. See, here's but the thing. But doesn't that hurt her that she just won? I think it does. It does. Yeah. It does. I was going to say, and how does she come up with another adorable speech? Because she, yeah. came, she came off as so humble last yeah. year. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I think that would be difficult. She can't yeah. trip again on yes. the rise to the stage. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, so now, Eric, which race do you think is up for grabs? Uh, you know, I think it's it depends. Screenplay is one where it's it's kind of a tough a tough battle. You don't really know what's going to happen there. Uh, I think horror may win it for the original screenplay. Adapted screenplay, there's a lot of competition there. Maybe 12 Years a Slave. Maybe Captain Phillips. Maybe that's where they throw Captain, Captain Phillips. Captain Phillips, I feel like well, they've just been totally, like, just overlooked. Yeah, Tom Hanks, you know? snub, mm -hmm. big time. Yeah. 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 What about American Hustle? American Hustle, I don't know. That's, it could come away winning could. nothing. Yeah. I have, I have everything. I think costume design has got a chance. Look you know, at them. I mean, they transformed I, these guys. Yeah. Well, and they didn't get nominated for hair and makeup, which is insane. Yeah. But have you felt the hair. love fade away from American Hustle? I have. I think I think it was American Hustle and 12 Years a Slave early on, and then all of a sudden Gravity yeah. kind of came up and shoved American Hustle out of the way and yeah. said, no, no, I'm here. I'm the front runner. Well, now. Gravity carries a lot of weight. <laughs> um, uh, what about a Best Actor? That's a tight contest, too. I think the smart money is on Matthew McConaughey. He's won a lot of awards going into this. But I can see Leonardo DiCaprio winning. I can see Chiwetel Ejiofor winning or Bruce Stern. I really think yeah. any of those people could wind up winning. Christian Bale is the only one I think you could It's count. that close between those four? I, I don't think it's that close. The, the fans want Leo to win just because he has no. a role. I, really? I want Matthew. Yeah. Matthew. I thought the I thought, fans like Matthew McConaughey. Yeah. I, I like Matthew McConaughey. Uh, I think he's going to win. We did a poll on Fandango. The fans want Leo just because it's Leo. Mm -hmm. But I think Matthew McConaughey is is the guy. To yeah. Me. Okay. So now, which category do you guys oh. think is going to provide the biggest upset? Ooh. That's. I think that one's still my pick for uh, best supporting actress yeah. or best actor. Either of those, like we were saying, they're hotly contested. There's a lot of different people. Between so many them. dynamics yeah. too. I mean, back to actor Bruce Stern was great in Nebraska. Oh, you did and, so, yeah. And years of service to the community, and yeah. he is Bruce Stern. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. What about best song? Yeah, best song is an interesting one because you have the Let It Go from Frozen, which the kids are, are just obsessed Those with. My, kids my, again. My daughter, like, she won't, makes me call her Elsa. That's how upset she <laughs> is. That's very cute. Uh, so, yeah, Frozen is a, a, a front runner. But the song from her, Karen O, the Moon Song, is such a beautiful song. Mm -hmm. You know, and the Oscars like those beautiful songs too, like Falling Slowly one a, a few years ago, yeah. which is a really beautiful song. And then You Too from Mandela. They love that that song too. And Pharrell from Despicable Me. That song is a, I, a way up on the charts. Yeah. Too. Exactly. What about Happy from Despicable Me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's like about. the best it's, sounding song. It's and it's, really in, it's in commercials. Yeah. I mean, it really has exploded. Yeah. Okay, well, now, this is always the part that makes me so sad. The In Memoriam segment, you know, I mean, it's just so hard because, well, we're not happy about this one, but, yeah. you know, there's always a controversy, and I heard that this year it's going to be difficult because of Her Harold Ramis. 
Yeah, there's, there's, a, you know, there's a lot of people uh, to, to honor, and uh, but I think it's good. I think you want to keep it in there. I think it's important to honor those uh, who contributed to the Hollywood, uh, you know, to in the year. But I think you just kind of create a list of notable names of people who've contributed, and then you go with that and yeah. kind of stick by it. And not everyone is going to like everything. Yeah. You just got to go yeah. for it. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, well, so what do you do? Is it calendar year or? I is think it... the cutoff date is February first, and so that's where it gets tricky with Calvary yeah. Miss. And I believe Shirley Temple also died. With yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, yes. you're, I mean, you can't not honor them, but then right. you kind of wonder about other people yeah. who might not be as famous who also died after the cutoff, and that's where the controversy comes from. Yeah. But like Eric said, you can't do everything. Speaking yeah. of controversy, Woody Allen is always controversial, and again, but the Academy seems to love him. Does he win, or do recent allegations, old allegations that are out there again, hurt him? I, I don't think they hurt him. I think Kate Blanchett will win Best Actress. She was in Blue Jasmine. Uh, in terms of script, uh, you know, maybe. I, I think it, it definitely has a shot. I think it's a great movie. Um, I, don't, I don't think it will hurt him in, in, in that respect. Yeah, I don't think it's really necessary to give him the Oscar for the screenplay this year. There's not really a lot of heat behind that. And I, I agree, I don't think it will hurt Kate Blanchett. Her performance stands on her own. Yeah. She has nothing to do with any of the stories about Woody Allen. That's just her performance on her own. And I, I want Sandra to win that one, too. Oh, she won like three years I don't yeah. care. She loves it. I love um, that. Well, Eric Davis and, of course, Katie Rich from Vanity Fair, thank you so much for joining us thank this you. morning. And we want to make sure that you tune in tomorrow for a special encore edition of The Couch Celebrating Hollywood. We go all in on the Oscars race, and we are going to look at some Oscar stats that may blow your mind. So that airs tomorrow morning at 5.30 a.m. on our sister station, CBS2. They can have a cookie, and can't they? Right here on WLNY at 7 p.m. Yes, guys, Eleni sent over these cookies for um, Oscar night. And look, it has all of the... Fantastic yeah. cookies. Oh. Aren't these awesome? They look at it looks just like all yeah. of them. So have a yeah. cookie. There's a yeah. Dame, who is this one? Judy Dench. Judy Dame Dench. Judy, yeah. 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 Meryl. Like doesn't have a chance. Right. Meryl doesn't have a chance. <laughs> Thanks, Eat guys. that one first. <laughs>